So interesting picture, not so whimsical photos have popped up after the governor's award, uh, more like the Oscars prestigious award that seemed to be awarding great personalities in Hollywood for their hard work. And, you know, Angela Bassett's name was mentioned for an honorary award. And whilst she apparently was being presented with her, uh, you know, her plaque, uh, Regina, uh, you know, I mean, there was some interesting conversations after the, pre the whole presentation. And some fans have been quick to spread some interesting photos about, uh, you know, the two divas, that's Regina King and Angela Bassett. And I feel this is very, very critical that we have to pay attention to, okay? Like, guys, I'm sure most of you have seen the photos that seem to be circulating, or I mean, it's circulating on social media. And have you thought through to ask yourself pertinent questions after the visuals pop down? Now, this is, this is something I feel is very delicate. And if you're not careful, you will be found wanting in this conversation. So we had to tell you exactly what happened on the night and what you also have to know about what exactly the whole kiss thing is about okay so do indulge us inside the comment section engage us also by subscribing and letting us know exactly what your thought and comment is yes let's get interactive inside the comment section so regina king and angela bassett apparently have been training for some uh days now a couple of days now after the governor's award uh more like presenting like the oscars and appreciating some effort of the industry personalities uh you know we know and angela bassett for some time now in fact this is more like the most honorary award so far that she's backed and she apparently has gone very emotional like girl has done so much in the industry but you know little has been given to her in terms of award and this is more like the most prestigious award that she apparently has acquired so far now on the ninth this photo you see on your screen seemed to be trending now i just want pictorial evidence because guys i thought this is very serious i haven't cited any video evidence about this case you're seeing on your screens but people seem to be speculating and you know uh spreading these visuals and i'm like yo this could be false this could be a AI generated case now we all did see the award itself regina and angela bassett never kissed unless someone has any you know pictorial evidence like visual evidence that could prove otherwise but nothing i'm sure nothing like this happened even if it did happen maybe it could be uh, as a result of more over excitement or i just doubt this thing happened i sincerely doubt that a kiss from angela bassett and regina king happened on the night now let me explain why i think this could be false and could not be true if I, it is not true that angela bassett took a kiss or gave a kiss to regina dennis because on the nights when Regina was trying to uh, eulogize Angela Bassett, trying to present, uh, you know, the award, maybe let's just watch what the presentation was all, all about. We come back in the, Oscar. I mean, of course, I'll get you more details about this. Do check this video out and come back for more. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting an Academy Award. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, Angela. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting an Academy Award to a national treasure. The incomparable Angela Bassett, in case you all didn't know. I was blessed to work with Angela in two beloved films, How Stella Got Her Groove Back and Boys in the Hood. <laughs> In How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Angela played the title role, and I played her younger sister, which was the easiest role I could imagine because Angela really is a sister to me, truly. My sister and I first crossed paths on a little show called 227. <laughs> you didn't know I was going to bring that one out on you, right? Right. <laughs> only to later have our coming out party in the same film, John Singleton's Boys in the Hood. Now, it's not often you get to cut your teeth in a history-making modern classic, but we did. And Boys in the Hood is still studied and celebrated.
studied and celebrated today for many reasons, but right at the top is Angela's performance as the unforgettable mother fighting for her son, the iconic Reva Stiles. Now, little did Angela know that Reva Stiles would send her on a path to embody some of the most significant women of the civil rights movement and become one of the most in-demand actresses of the next 30 years. On screens, big and small, she has mesmerized us in over 100 roles. But it's the quality, not the quantity of her performances that sets Angela apart. I mean, let's talk about range, okay? Who else could play Betty Shabazz twice, <laughs> go on to playing a vampire, then go from playing Rosa Parks to a sports reporter and Coretta Scott King to playing the Secret Service director. <laughs> I mean, not only did she run the Secret Service, she was a CIA director, a U.S. attorney, a top official at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and an animated Michelle Obama. <laughs> okay, that, that leads me to ask you something, Angela. With all that experience, why aren't you running for president? I'm, I mean, wait a minute. Let's not forget her Tina Turner. I revisit that film annually, and her performance still blows me away. Okay, well, fun fact. You remember this. When we were in Arrowhead at our friend's house, you pulled me up to sing back up for an impromptu karaoke session. For a quick moment, I felt like an Iket. Man, bottom line, Angela has lived a career for the ages and I swear she is ageless, truly. Beyond Angela's talent is something that everyone who has worked with her will share with you. Work with Angela on set, and you become her friend for life. She has stitched a sisterhood that exists simply because of who she is as a woman and a human being. And so many times I've heard people say that Angela is the very embodiment of black excellence, but let me correct that. She has a perspective and a voice and a beauty that is proudly black. But what she embodies at her core is beyond anything that is skin deep. She is artistic excellence embodied in human form.